In health news tonight, a new study suggests that a daily dose of vitamin B3 can help prevent the most common and treatable forms of skin cancer from coming back. Here's Dr. John LaPook. Let me tell your head up there. After multiple bouts of skin cancer, 48-year-old Eric Breslow knows he has to be vigilant for the rest of his life. We, we do body checks about four times a year just to be proactive to make sure that um, nothing gets out of hand. Breslow's skin cancers were basal and squamous cell, not melanoma. UV rays from the sun can damage the DNA of skin cells, prevent healing, and can lead to cancer. In a recent Facebook post to raise awareness of the dangers of tanning, 27-year-old Tawny Willoughby shows her facial scars after having been treated for the same kind of skin cancers as Breslow had. A new Australian study followed 386 patients with at least two previous bouts of non-melanoma skin cancer. One group was given a type of vitamin B3 called nicotinamide for one year, the other a placebo. The group taking the vitamin had a 23% reduction in skin cancer recurrence. Dr. Jessica Krant is Breslow's dermatologist. I'm very excited about this study, but it looks like patients who have a history of many skin cancers will be able to take a regular vitamin from the drugstore and reduce their risk of getting future skin cancers. What good is it if it's not totally preventing the lesions? There are patients who have multiple skin cancers a year. Some even have up to 100 skin cancers a year. For those patients to reduce by 25% the number of lesions they are having surgery for or having other treatments for is very significant. The nicotinamide may work by helping to repair the damaged DNA that can lead to skin cancer. But Scott, even if further study shows that it's effective, this v B vitamin is not going to replace the need to cover up, use sunscreen, and avoid a sunburn. Be sensible. Doc, thanks very much.